Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about all things March and my favorites for the month. This month has definitely been an interesting one. Obviously we moved to this new house, so things have been just crazy, but I've actually managed to find a lot of products and new things that I haven't talked to you guys about before that I have been loving. So let's dive right into it. Let's start with the closest thing to me and it's this giant tub of lotion. When I first saw this, I was like, this is absurd. This is an insane amount of lotion, but I have gone through quite a lot of it so far. I don't know if you can tell, but I have been loving this. It is the Body Shop Spa of the World Hawaiian Kikui Cream. Rich, nourishing body cream. So this stuff smells amazing. And I'm not sure if you guys know this nut, but it is a Hawaiian nut, apparently. Alex was like giving me all sorts of lessons about this kukui nut thing and how it's like for good luck and stuff and you'll wear necklaces and all this crazy stuff. But I love it because it smells amazing and it definitely has a scent that you wouldn't really expect. And at first you're like, eh but then it grows on you so much that I like crave the scent on my body. It is super luxurious and moisturizing. It's kind of thick, but in the way that you want a lotion to be thick, it's definitely a nighttime cream that you put on before bed that you let just soak in while you're sleeping. You wake up, your skin feels amazing. And I just love how large it is. There's just something about this giant tub that makes me like super excited about it. Like this stuff is gonna last forever. My next favorite comes in the form of a shampoo. And I know what you guys are thinking, Kayla, you don't change your shampoo, which is true. I usually don't. I use the same shampoo like forever. And I have a very hard time accepting that there are other shampoos out there. But I love this brand and I thought, you know what, it's time be a big kid, Kayla, and try something new. So it is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Shampoo. It says that your hair feels cleaner longer, and that is so true. So I find that this is so similar to my favorite shampoo, that Organics one. They changed the name of it, but it's the Thick and Full Biotin and Collagen Shampoo. These are very similar in how your hair feels afterwards, but the actual process of putting them on your hair is completely different. This smells like Living Proof products smell like, and it seems like less lathery, if that makes sense, and um, your hair feels very squeaky clean afterwards. But the end results are the same. My hair does feel way cleaner, and I know it's good for your hair to switch things up, so I'm gonna be bouncing between this guy and my fave to keep my hair feeling a little bit more fresh and alive. Things have been just getting really crazy in my shower lately. I don't know if that's too much information, but I have been switching stuff up. I've been trying since with this new house. I wanna just be more out there, you know, just give it a shot. And by more out there, I mean try a new cleanser. This is the Yes to Coconut Hydrate and Restore Ultra Hydrating Melting Cleanser. And this stuff is weird. So I thought it would be very similar to the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm, and it is. It has the same consistency, it looks similar. Obviously, this smells deliciously like coconut, but it's weird so i used it dry and in the shower with water as it suggests using it two ways so i tried that and obviously it's a favorite because it's in my favorites video but i have a mixed feelings about it so when you put it on your skin it feels kind of just like dry in the weirdest way it's a gel kind of like coconut oil consistency but it makes your skin feel super dry but not badly it just feels really, really dry, but your skin doesn't feel like it hurts or it's itchy or there's like any pain or anything. It's so bizarro, but I really like it. It's just like after I get out of the shower, I'm like, wow, my skin feels weird, but my skin's been loving it and it works. So I guess, I don't know. Ah. My two favorite makeup items this month happen to be by the same brand. They're killing it, this brand. I've never tried it before this month, so I am like obsessed with it right now. It is the It, Co it is the It Cosmetics brand. <laughs> this is the Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. And I would say that this is very, very similar to the Bare Minerals 
complexion rescue. Obviously, Kayla can't try new things if they're not almost completely the same as my favorite things, but it's really, really great. I'm wearing it today. It's more full coverage than the Bare Mineral one, but I like it more. I know. Don't put me on record, guys, that I like this more than the Bare Mineral ones because I'm obsessed with that one. But this one just seems more... Like, I don't know how to put it. The Bare Mineral ones is very much like dewy skin, look at this hydration, boom, your face is glowing. This is a more subtle, healthier looking glow. It has SPF 50 in it, which is insane. And it actually says that it's like for sunscreen, which this is like that fanciest sunscreen ever. I love the packaging, it comes with a pump, something that the Bare Minerals one does not. And I never think I like pumps. I'm like, oh, I don't need it, I'm fine. I can squeeze the container myself. But the pump makes it awesome. You make sure you have the correct amount of products. I do like a pump and then a little bit more because I like it a little bit heavier coverage because it's so not heavy coverage, but a little bit, it's like medium coverage. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm super excited about this. The other product I have been loving from It Cosmetics is the Universal Brow Power Brow Pencil. And it is awesome. I don't understand Universal products because we don't all have the same color hair, guys. Like, how does this work? But this works really well for me, so maybe it's more geared towards brunettes or something. So it has a spoolie on one end, which is way bigger than the Anastasia one. Like, it's thicker and bulkier, but it works just the same. And the applicator is not just like a straight nub. It's actually kind of sideways. And I find that I really like this. So at first, I was like, how am I supposed to apply this? There's so much more product going on my brows. But as soon as I got the hang of like the short brush strokes that are a little bit different than the Anastasia one, it is amazing. It's on my brows today and I feel like it's just such a subtle wearable shade and I love the color, love the payoff and I just feel like it's, it's so comparable to the Anastasia one that I may switch it up. I don't know. I don't know. I will be doing a full-fledged It Cosmetics brand overview on my blog, I think, next week. So if you want to see some other products, I also talk about the mascara I'm wearing, and there's a brush, and there's also like a face powder that I'm going to be going into so much detail about because It Cosmetics, I know it took me forever to really like dive into the brand. Also, their concealer. I forgot that one. But I love it, it's amazing, and so definitely go check that out next week. On to non-beauty favorites this month. I feel like it's just been this book. The life-changing magic of tidying up. You guys have heard about this. If you've been living under a rock, you've probably still heard about this. It's a book about organization and tidying your life and getting yourself in a place where you don't feel bogged down by stuff and things. And I read this about a week or two before we moved, so I got rid of so much stuff right before the move, which is awesome because then you don't have to move it. And I really like how it's changing my approach to this house. So there's been so many opportunities to get knickknacks and stuff from family and friends, and I've just been like, no. Let us settle into the house. The house will tell us how we how we should decorate it, how it wants to feel. It's a little weird. I, I know it's a little mumbo jumbo-y, but like our house looks so great. It's not cluttered. I feel like when you have a house, all of a sudden you just feel like you have to fill it. And this room is a prime example. This room is almost empty and I don't feel bad about that. I feel like over time it'll become a little bit fuller and I don't wanna just rush it because then my house is just gonna be full of crap. So if you haven't read this book, it is good. Such a good read and you take what you want out of it. A lot of her philosophies are a little too over the top for me. I'm not gonna just get rid of everything that doesn't spark joy because sometimes you need a toaster. I don't get that excited about toasters but you need one. So take what you want from it. It's definitely a book that you should figure out what works for you, but it was good. And it's definitely a testament to March. You guys know my obsession with Erin Condren, not a shocker, but I recently got their lined like list notepads and holy crap on toast guys. I don't know how a list could get any better, 
but apparently size matters or style of list pad matters because I have the big ones, I have the medium ones, and now I have these. And I love these for daily to-do lists, for recipe, like um, shopping lists, anything. And I just think they're so cute. I've been using these lists like nobody's business. I also have one that a Hello Again gave me. So I think I just like the length, the length of these or something because dang, dang, they're fine. Good stuff. So a couple more random favorites this month. I have been obsessed with Jane the Virgin. I saw it on Netflix like a month or two ago and it's like this show looks ridiculous. Like the thumbnail is bright pink and there's just this girl like carrying a uh, pregnancy test and I was like this is crazy. But I have since watched about 19 episodes in probably four or five days. Oh my God, it's amazing. So it's basically a mock on telenovelas while being a telenovela. So it's kind of like a Mexican soap opera that has Mexican soap operas in it, but it the things that happen are very soap, soap, ad, I don't know if that's a word. And it is amazing. They do it in such a good job that you don't feel like you're watching this tacky days of our lives. But then when something is revealed, you're like, I'm literally watching a soap opera right now, but I love it. So if you haven't seen that show, definitely go check it out. It is worth a look-see. Other than that, this month has been amazing and a whirlwind, and I have to say I'm kind of glad it's over. It has rained almost nonstop, and I know April showers is a thing, so hopefully it just decides that it's only going to shower for a little bit so we can actually enjoy exploring the city and getting outside a little bit more. But I have been loving this house, obviously. It's awesome, and I can't wait to see what happens next month. But that's gonna be it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorites are for the month of March. I would love to find new products since I now am a girl who explores products. That's who I am now. <laughs> So leave those in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.